today to Luke chapter 19. To Luke chapter 19, and I, yeah, 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 yeah. Go to Luke 19 and find Psalm 8. We'll, we'll start in Luke 19 and then we'll go on to Psalm 8. And this, this won't take very long at all. And, and for all of you who are with us uh, visiting here today, thank God for you. Thank God for you, brother. I know this is not your first time. Uh, and, and, and I, I want to be remiss. Do you, do you care to share anything if you want to? I mean, I don't want to deny you. Okay. All right. Praise God. Um, and I'm just excited. I'm so, so excited. I don't know if y'all heard what Sister Lou said. I mean, uh, Sister uh, Annette said. Do you see the cloud? Well, see, the thing is, the thing is, the thing is, it, you just need to know it's here. But what God does at times is, is, is allow people to perceive and discern, thank you, sir, uh, things like that in the spirit. Uh, you know what? It, it's not even necessary that everybody see it because if there's some, there's some of us, if we were to see it, it would hinder our faith because we would get hooked on sight. But, but, but some people are allowed to see it, and when they share it, 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 it helps us in our faith because we, we have someone that we can touch, that we can, that we can trust, and we deem credible. And we can take it by faith. Are you understand what I'm saying? Hallelujah. Glory to God. One day I might, you know, have some have opportunity to share some of the things that many of you have shared. Some things that you have seen in this in this in this house in this congregation. You know why the word is going forth. Some of you have shared it with me personally. I mean, it 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 just it 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 it's. It blow your mind. Mm. Are you are you are you there, Luke nineteen? Okay, so we're going to teach on this. The, the title to, to today is uh, "Occupy Till I Come." Occupy till I come. And if you're in Luke, uh, verse twelve. Jesus is, is teaching this, this parable, and uh, he begins in verse 12, saying a certain nobleman went into a far country to receive for himself a kingdom and to return. Now, you know, a parable, uh, a parable is, is, a, is, is basically used to illustrate spiritual truths. Sometimes it's easier for us to identify and relate to things uh, in the natural, because that's where we're that's where we're accustomed, that's where we're conditioned, right? But if we can get it in the natural and understand it how it works in the natural, then we can understand how it works in the spirit realm. Amen. And so, uh, in this parable, the the nobleman who's gone into a far country to receive for himself a kingdom, that's who we know who that is, right? Who is that? Come on, who is it? Say, it. ain't no trick question. You know who is it? Jesus. Everybody say, it's Jesus. Jesus. All right. Now, he called his ten servants and delivered them ten pounds and said unto them, occupy till I come. Now, I don't want to take up too much time and go to the rest of this, but let's, let's just let's talk about this now. He told them to occupy till he comes, right? But notice what he did. He equipped them to occupy. He gave them the means to occupy. Now, in the context of the, of the parable, when you, when you look that word up, it, it, it refers to, it means to do business. 
right? And so we understand in the spiritual, it, it, we are to occupy ourselves with the business, the kingdom business of our father. Amen? Even Jesus was aware of that at 12 years old when, when Mary and Joseph found him in the, in the temple talking to the elders. And, and when they questioned him, he said, don't you know it's time for me to be about my father's business? Right? And I mentioned Friday, the, the amplified translation of that verse says to be occupied with my father's business. Amen? Now, now, as we, as we, 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 I think we got enough word in us to understand, and we've heard enough concerning the kingdom to understand that, 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 that to occupy then is, is, in order to occupy from a kingdom standpoint, it means to dominate. It means to exercise dominion, right? And, and so in the, and so, so, so we exercise dominion right, within our domain, right, so that God's will is done here in the earth as it is in heaven, right, within the, within the scope of our influence and our calling, our assignment. Are you following what I'm saying? Now, 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 <clears throat> let me make this statement. When, when, when the church, the body of Christ, when the church takes her rightful place of dominion and authority and begins to actually enforce God's will in the earth, everything in the earth opposed to God's will will have to adjust itself to accommodate your occupancy. Sila, 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 Sila. Glory to God. When you and I realize the authority we have and our responsibility and decide to walk in it, when we decide to say and do as we hear and see from the Father, that's exercising our dominion. That's occupying, right? And, 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 and in that process, of exercising dominion, we, we, are, uh, we are providing legal grounds for the Father's power to be released into the earth realm to supernaturally override the works of darkness that they come to know. And whatever is currently going on in the earth, whatever is currently existing in the earth, contrary to God's will, must make an adjustment on your behalf because you have decided to occupy. For example, for example, have you ever been to a show, a movie, a play, concert, where you had to purchase a ticket and you had a seat? It was reserved. You get there and somebody in your seat. You let the usher know you show the ticket. What happens? They have to adjust to accommodate your occupancy. Satan has got to move over and step back because somebody who knows who they are in Christ Jesus has decided to take their place. 